Hey everyone, welcome back to Clueless Crafts. Today we're going to be decorating a bottle with clay. So keep watching to see this cool transformation. I'm going to be using a clay extruder for this project, but you can just roll out your clay into thin logs as you see fit. Now I'm going to start off with the sand at the bottom of the bottle. So take your turdish looking clay and shove it in the clay extruder. Then I'm going to be using a small circle as the shape at the end. And this is what your clay should look like, doing the same for a lighter shade of brown as well. Make sure to add some liquid Sculpey on the bottle wherever you're placing the clay, otherwise the clay won't stick to it. Once you have some logs rolled out, we're going to be placing them at the bottom in a curved shape, alternating light and dark. And I'm going to keep repeating this all the way around the bottle. Now just a friendly reminder, if you're baking glass bottles, you should be placing them in the oven before you preheat the oven. And then leaving them in there after you turn the oven off until it cools. This is just because you don't want the glass to be in hot temperature one minute and cold the next as it could shatter, break, or crack. So we just want to keep the temperature changes as gradual as possible. Okay, and now that we're done with the sand, we're going to continue on with some seaweed. So I changed my attachment on my clay extruder and I'm now pushing out a whole lot of little green logs. Now it doesn't really show up on camera, but I used a light and dark green for the seaweed. I mostly placed the dark green pieces behind the light green pieces to create some kind of depth. And once all your seaweed is placed, it should look something like this. And I also created another one on the opposite side. Next, let's create a jellyfish. So I'm taking two types of pink, a light and a dark, and I'm going to be rolling them into logs, and I'm going to be alternating them and curving them into a half circle. Then I'm just going to cut off the excess and place an extra log of clay on the bottom, and then curve the ends over the sides. Now I'm just taking the remainder of the two pink clays and I'm mixing them together and putting them back in the extruder with a thinner clay setting. And I'm gonna create a lot of strings for the jellyfish. Now make sure to glue down where you want the jellyfish to go first and then start laying the little tails. And once all of the pieces are placed, just cut off a straight line on top where the jellyfish body is going to go. Place a little dab of glue and put the body on over top. I'm going to add a few more little fish to the bottle as well. So I'm just taking orange and yellow, rolling them out into the same sized logs as the jellyfish tails. And then I'm alternating them. Uh, two orange and one yellow in a pattern and I'm just cutting out some diamond shapes for the fish and I'm lining them with a little bit of orange clay and adding a little fin and that's all I'm doing for these and I'll be making five of them. Using the same techniques as before I'm going to be making a large blue fish. It kind of looks messy right now but in a second it'll start to take shape. And all I did after this was add some details on the top and bottom. I had some extra red clay, so I just made these little guys. They're not the greatest, but if you don't have a lot of clay options, this is a good choice for you to do. The last step, I just wanted to add some coral. So I just rolled out some logs of light purple and kept attaching them at points until it looked good. Now all that's left to do is bake. All right, and that is the finished product. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching. Uh, if you did, be sure to subscribe as I put new videos out every week. If you have any other suggestions on what you want to see next, just leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to listen. But other than that, have a great day and I'll see you guys later. Bye!